everyone, and welcome to the Late Late Show. Uh, although, let's face it, these days time has no meaning, so it's we really could call this the Whenever Whatever Show. But we're so thrilled that you're here. How are you doing, Reg? Are you good? Yeah, I feel pretty good. You look pretty good. You look pretty well. You look rested. Thanks. Oh yeah, there they are. Yeah, there we they don't are. get it. We people. don't get to see your eyes enough on this show. I know, I know. That's uh, that's a that was a thing I was experimenting with with a while for a while, but I think it's either way is fine, I guess. I mean, they they are a beautiful set of eyes. I mean, you know. Thanks. How's yeah, the rest of the good. band? How's the rest of the band doing? Are we well? We're great. I mean, I'm good. great. Be here. Have we ironed out the kinks? Do you think we're ready at any point to go to break? <laughs> ready. Yeah, Come you're ready. Yes. We'll be we right are. back with more of the Late Late Show. See, you weren't ready. <laughs> <laughs> you're not even close to ready, and it isn't a break because we have a fun <laughs> show this evening. Uh, we'll be talking to the hilarious Ben Schwartz and Thomas Middleditch. We'll be here then later. Billy Joe Armstrong's going to stop by for an incredible musical performance. But first, drop what you're doing so we can lift your spirits a little. This is Three Things to Cheer You Up. Three things. Three things to cheer you up. First up, being on lockdown can put a strain on any family. So there's nothing wrong with asking the people around you for a tiny bit of positive reinforcement. You love me? Huh? You love me? Yes. You love me? Still less painful than trying to teach them math. Let's be honest. Moving on, in these difficult times, our frontline medical workers are dealing with unbelievable amounts of stress and finding creative ways to deal with that stress, like these nurses in Miami who took a much needed break in the most delightful way. That moment just then is the closest I've come to actually going to the movies in weeks. And finally, Tyler Perry recently surprised shoppers by generously donating groceries to senior citizens during their designated shopping hours. Inspired by Perry's generosity, Southeastern Grocers, the, owner of, the owners of Winn-Dixie, decided to pick up the tab during late night shopping hours reserved exclusively for first responders as a thank you to our heroes on the front line of the crisis. Ma'am, your groceries are on Winn-Dixie. Thanks for everything you do. Are you serious? I'm serious. Oh, God bless you. God bless you. Thank you Thanks for everything you do. <laughs> I'm not. <laughs> no. Thanks for being on the front line. Mm, thank you. It's an honor. It's unbelievable. Your groceries are on us. <laughs> And then immediately afterwards, they were like, oh, I've just remembered I meant to pick up that, that crate of champagne. I just give me one minute. That was three things to cheer you up. Three things, three things to cheer you up.